All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we just want to start off by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone. Salutations to all Yakim that push the truth and truth and sincerity. And uh, this is the one, this is the lesson basically going in on uh, uh, don't help these people, it's, it's the time of their judgment. Yep. Yeah, man, and, you know, and that's, that's, hey, that judgment's come, man. These people have all, have all had basically all this time to repent, change. Hey, but now that fuck, that 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 time of judgment is near, man. You know that uh, the doors of mercy are soon closing. Oh, that's right. Hey, we've been out there, you know, starting with our, you know, apostles, you know, really their elders, to the apostles, to the elders of the camps, you know, to brothers that have been out there for years, you know, preaching on the highways and byways, you know, all over the internet, telling you know uh, the people to repent. You know, saying, you know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, repent. But what do our people do? Hey, they reject the knowledge, man. All right, they, they, they're they uh, willingly ignorant, okay? You know, they, they don't care about Yahweh Bashim al Shai because it doesn't, um, it doesn't, uh, um, profit yeah, profit, uh, profit uh, them at this pr uh, present moment, man, so to speak. All right? And, um, you know, with that, we're just going to start off with this Sirach 12 and 1. It says, when thou wilt do good... Know to whom thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Mm -hmm. So pretty much, hey, know who you're doing good to, because you know these people, all right, they're very ungrateful. And actually, that's a that's a scripture where it talks about they're unthankful. Yeah. If you can get that, I think it's in Timothy. It talks about how these people, you know, um, in the latter days, how these people are going to be. You know, one of them is unthankful. If you can get that, I think it's like First Timothy four. I think it's the fourth chapter. Starts like at the uh, very top. If it's not First Timothy, it's definitely Second Timothy four. Um, maybe it's Second Timothy. Try Second Timothy, cause it's at the very top of it. But yeah, so these people, you know, they're they're uh, they, this is the, that ungodly, you know, an adulterous generation, man. Okay, this is the worst of the worst. All right. And you can clearly see it, man. These people have, uh, have, um... It's, un it's unthankful or ungrateful. Put uh, unthankful. Yeah, it should be unthankful. But these people, you know, are just complete, you know, reprobates. Okay. They're, you know, they're demons, man. All right? Maybe just start a little bit above, too. Now, this, uh, 2 Timothy's, also, uh... Third chapter, so lock, yeah. 3 and, um, verse 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Yep, and that's, uh, the, uh, times that we're living in. Perilous times. You see the... You know, the food shortage is happening, inflation on the rise, yeah. all right, uh, World War Three building up, you know, this uh, vaccination is going on, which is going to lead to what the, uh, you know, implementation of the RFID microchip, all right? It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Yeah, exactly. They're lovers of their own selves. They don't, okay, uh, first off, they're prideful. You know, they think that they're always, you know, correct. You know, uh, they, they, the they wouldn't help you out, you know, if you needed it. Yeah. Hey, how we were talking about that, that going into that covetousness, man. Oh, yeah. You know, these people are all fucking extreme. They followed after the way that Esau, man. Uh, the scriptures, uh, that Psalms 10 says, uh, uh, the wicked blessed the covetous who the Lord of worth, you know. And that's why that Instagram, all these social medias are pushed so heavy. That's right. But it says, uh, it says, boasters, proud. Ooh, boasters, proud. Blasphemers. Yep, blasph definitely blasphemers. These, they, they, this is the ungodly generation, you know. These, you know, they say that they love the Most High. Hey, but you know, they they, they say that with their mouth, but in their minds, in their hearts, okay, they go back to the covetousness. All right, you know, they, these people uh, do what they want to do. You know what I mean? It says uh, disobedient to parents, unthankful, yep. unholy. Uh, 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 disobedient to parents. Look at this generation right now, man. All right? Especially, you know, uh, these people born after the 90s, man. Yeah. They're through. They, they, they have uh, uh, no regards to, you know, to the elder, uh, elderly. They don't respect the elderly. You know, they, they, they don't uh, honor them. All right? They're unthankful for everything. They This, gener this is the generation uh, that feels that they um, should have everything. You know? We had entitlement. They had entitlement. There we go. That's the word. They, they feel entitled to everything Every little thing, man Hey, hey these people, man Look, man You, you should be praising your Yahweh Shemel Shai For every, everything you have Okay 
which these people don't. Hey, they'll they'll get a new iPhone and they don't don't even thank the person that gave it to them, let alone the uh, the Most High. Mm-hmm. You know, is that it on there? No, that's a little more. It okay, says, come. Uh, it says without natural affection, truce breakers, Whew. false accusers, and that's these people, man. They don't have any uh, natural affection left. They want every. Uh, it's it's a me me me. You know, people only uh, um, call you when they fucking need something. You know, on top of being a that that leaving that natural affection is a inordinate lust, gay, queer, queer, yeah, queer, and queer. And I, I like using that word queer because when you look up that word queer, is it, 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 one of the definitions is strange, mm-hmm. awkward, and that's this society because a, a queer doesn't even have to necessarily go into you know your the, the uh, sexual orientations, man. It's just how these people act. This is a very weird and strange society. You know, if these people um, love their, you know, idols more than their own family, man. You know, that's weird. These people, you know, uh, like how you said, they 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 uh they go after their, you know, their uh, their their gay lust, their you know, their vile affections. Mm-hmm. You know, now, those are just to name a few things, man. People are in love with their animals more than their their own uh, so-called, you know, you know, wife or husband. Mm-hmm. It is a weird society that we're living in. It says, um, in, incontinent, fierce, despises of those that are good. Ooh, and that's the, these people. And that's why, as we're going to get in this Rock 12, it says, don't help a, a, um, a sinner out, man. Don't help the ungodly. What's the point? Hey, they, they, they hate you, man. Let me, uh, let me read the next one. It says, mm, uh, okay. it says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, Ooh. from such turn away. Yep. And that's these people. I mean, you got the, the churchgoers, you know, they have a form of godliness. You know, they, 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 they you still got people who go to church, you know, they'll, they'll, you know, wear the suits, you know, the nice, you know, you know, slacks. They got the dresses on, you know, Sunday's best, you know, outfits, you know, on, yeah. you know, singing at church. And then go to the, you know, the, 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 the Sunday brunch or lunch, man, you know, but what are they doing? Eating abominable foods. First and foremost, praising a false god. god. You know, eating abominable foods, being adulterers, adulteresses, you know. This is a wicked society, man. But uh, going back to this uh, Sirach 12 and uh, 2 now, it says, Do good to the uh, to the godly, uh, to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense, if not from him, yet from the Most High. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're only supposed to be helping the godly. That's why, uh, what is that? I think it's that second Ezra where it talks about, don't um, worry about how the ungodly shall perish, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Yep. We're not worried about the ungodly because, look, two-thirds are going to die, man. You shouldn't be helping these, uh, you know, uh, uh, people out out here. I mean, judgment there's... Is, look, judgment is out there for those people, man. Yep. And yeah, there's a time and a place, you know, because, you know, the Spirit might tell you to help a particular person out because you... Who knows, maybe that that one person that you helped out that was ungodly, they might see you in the future. And when you're in a particular situation, they might help you out. You know, it's all through the spirit. But for the most part, you're not supposed to help these people out. Because all they're going to do is take advantage of you and abuse you, man. Mm-hmm. You know? And it says, um, there can no good to him that is always occupied in evil. And that's these people. They don't want to change. You give them the whole blueprint, but they just want to they wanna stay in the, they want to stay in that, that low place, man. They're, they're, these people want to stay like you throw them a rope, but they want to stay in the sucking place. They want you to pick them up, put them, put you on their back. You know what I mean? Drag them out of the sucking place, and then when you help them get out, they're gonna help, they're gonna fucking kick you in and shut the door. Shit, or get people. mad at you for helping them out. Yeah. Well, Still get somebody. They wanted you to save them, but then get mad at you for saving them. You yeah. you, you you can't win. You can't lose. You know with these people, or as Dale Slock is damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's like that, 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 That's these people man But hey That's why the scriptures Talk about what uh, 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 Unstable man, uh, man Or um, a double minded man Is unstable in all his ways These people are unstable man they, they, they don't know What the hell is going on They don't know What's good for them man Like the brother said you, Brother said You can show them The whole blueprint You can show them What's good for them And they, man they, they still want to do Wickedness man there's, there's no point In helping these people out But as it says here It says Nor to him That giveth no alms Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread 
and given not unto him. Hey, the, the, this is a commandment from the Lord. It says, hold back your bread. When these people are asking for food and for money out here, you're supposed to hold that back, man. Don't help them out. Don't help them out. Because look, hey, these people in an instant will backstab you and take your goods, man. Hell, even fucking, even like having conversations with people. I don't talk to half of these people out here. You know, they'll be talking about uh, like, like relevant topics, but the spirit just like be like, hey, don't don't give these, don't even give these people advice. Don't even tell them what right from left is. Yep. Hey, because that's 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 really was like the parable with the uh, the five wise, five foolish virgins, man. You don't want to be giving that oil, man. Oil is like the the most precious thing, man. These people had a uh, ample opportunity to get the oil, man, and it didn't, it didn't profit them. Yo, you know? it says, uh, "Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he over master thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil. For all the good thou shalt have done unto him, you're gonna get twice the evil. Hey, cause you know, yeah, well, what's gonna happen? They they're gonna take your goods. You know, they're gonna take uh, uh, your advice and, and use it for wickedness. Then you're gonna get a blot on your name." And, you know, once you have a blot on your name, man, it's hard to, uh, uh, um, for lack of words, you know, uh, 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 you know, clean it up, man. You know, it's hard to, you know, get that good name back. Mm. It's it's very easy to destroy your name, you know. You know, even in this society, you know, you do one thing, you know, um, you have a situation happen, right, where it messes up your credit. And that thing is on your, you know, record for, you know, life. And it's so hard to get that credit back up. And that's how it is, you know, out here, man, you know? You got some, Mark? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm checking on one thing. Uh, go, yeah, go ahead if you have something else. Nah, that's all I had. Uh, let me, well, let me check the next verse. Let me double check. No, actually, let me read that verse 6, Ock. It says, For the most I hated sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. And going back to the... Uh, um, you know the name of this lesson. You know, don't help these people out. You know, it's the t it's their time of uh, judgment. You see, the Most High hates these people. All right, He hates sinners. Okay, and He's going to repay them. You know, uh, with vengeance. You know, that's why in Sirach thirty nine it talks about the spirits created for vengeance. Okay. Hey, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai has these things created to, uh, um, you know, to de uh, destroy these people. You know, for their wickedness. That's actually their uh, reward, because as it says here, and uh, let me get this real quick. One of my favorite scriptures, actually, in uh, Revelation 22 and 12, it says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his works uh, shall be. So, Yahweh Shem Al Shai is going to give you um, a reward, all right, according to your works. And see, these people, they're going to get the ungodly, wicked reward, all right, for all the, you know, Iniquities they have committed Alright And that's see That's something this society Doesn't teach you That you're gonna Have to pay for your actions This is a society That doesn't deal with Accountability Alright But see the God of the Bible Deals with accountability Alright For every uh, uh, Action There's a reaction So to speak You know Even this society Tells you that You know But when it comes to You know uh, Dealing with the Heavenly Father Somehow that's thrown Out the window though that God, you know, what comes about is, you know, uh, is God is all love and uh, God's going to forgive you. That's literally what all these people uh, say and talk about, you know. But that's not true. Look, God's, a, uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, is a balance. All right. He, he, he loves and he hates. Okay. He has mercy and he has wrath. All right. And so he's going to, you know, uh, um, if, if you're not following, you know, the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, guess what? You're going to receive a punishment for that. All right? And that, that's what these people are about to have to deal with. That's why, you know, as us being in this truth, don't help these people out, man. Don't worry about them. Yep. You know, there's no point. We just read it. It's going to get you in a worse situation. Yeah, it's like that movie, The Book of Eli. You know, when he, uh, when, uh, that first, like, I think it was one of the first scenes he kept saying this, you know, he kept telling himself, this isn't my fight, because he had his own mission to walk down. Had he fucking went down there, who knows, he would have got put to death or got hindered somehow, you know? And that's the thing, like, a lot of these, a lot of these things out here are gonna, they're gonna hinder you, man. 
uh, the, what does it say? This place is uh, the, the valley shadow of death. It's full of uh, snares and traps, you know? That's all that's out here, man. It's, just, it's, it's basically this whole place is just, it's just traps out here, man. These these people are just fucking walking traps. I got one. This is a uh, Ciroc, uh 29 and 14, and uh, this basically goes and in, uh, goes into like uh, your neighbor though, like uh, your brother. It says an honest man is surety for his neighbor, but he that is impudent will forsake him. And that surety basically is like uh, like I guess you could say like good uh, a good estate. That uh, goes into like a pledge, I think. Uh, Something it says, like that. Uh, security against loss or damage. Yep. Fulfillment of an obligation, the payment of debt. Yeah, so like a pledge, um, the state or of uh, being quality, basically being sure, like uh, in a sense, well off. It says, um, but it says an honest man is surety for his neighbor, but the but the impudent man will forsake him. And that's these people, man. These people out here, they they, they you know, it's a they scriptures say it's a friend in a uh, deed, it's a friend in uh for uh, basically uh, like an occasion. But hey, these, these people aren't uh, your friends out here, man. Only per people that are your friends are really a, the ones doing the will of the Lord, man. As Yahweh Shai said, it says, uh, forget, not thy f forget not the friendship of thy surety, for he hath given his life for thee. And that's your brothers, man. Only, uh, you know, the men of the Lord and the, the real believers are really going uh, to help you give, you, give you your last, you know, take you in. These people aren't going to do those type of things. It says, a sinner will overthrow the good estate of his surety. You know, so... These people self sabotage themselves, man. Like, hey, for instance, all these people got all this fucking stimulus money. They're getting all this money, and they're fucking blowing it, man. They're not even thinking about bills. They're not thinking about fucking tomorrow. You know, these people, hey, it's uh, this decadent society we live in, man. It says, uh, and he that is of an unthankful mind will leave him in danger that delivered him. So you can help one of these people. And these people are so fucking ungrateful, you know, they'll they'll get you'll get them out of the jam, pick them up, but then like you'll fucking slip and then they'll just fucking fucking walk off, leave you there to to be devoured by the wolves, quote unquote. You know? It says surety surety ship have undone many of good estate and have shaken them as a wave of the sea. Mighty men have driven it from their houses so that they wandered among strange nations. And then look at us. You know, hey, we who do we help? And now look at our situation. You know, we fucking uh, pick these saw up off his fucking back, and then uh, hey, what? He the scriptures say, set him not by thee, lest he seek to take thy seat. Now look where we are. It says um, it says a wicked man transgress transgressing the commandments of the Lord shall fall into surety ship, and that's these people, man. If you fucking not doing the things of the command, you're not going to be prosperous. You know, and these people quote unquote love prosperity, but at least they say they do. You know, but hey, how do you obtain that by doing it by, um, by doing what the Lord commanded? You know, but these you see these people don't do it, man. They they think they're in good case, but they're not. You know, they may have food and raiment. You know, they may have a car and all this shit right now, but at the, really at the end, the deeds are gonna be everything's gonna be revealed, man. They, their sins are gonna be discovered. You know, everything's gonna be revealed. And they're gonna say, hey, then they're gonna wish, oh man, I wish I listened to those men. You know, I wish I did, did what was commanded. It says, uh, let me read that. It says, a wicked man transgressive the commandments of the Lord shall fall into surety ship. And he that undertaketh and followeth other men's business for gain shall fall into suits. And then the last verse says, uh, help thy neighbor according to thy power and beware that, beware that thou thyself fall not into the same. And, uh, and that's going, hey, the only man you're supposed to help is your neighbor, man. And then you're actually supposed to learn from their mistakes, you know, because that's the thing with, um, a hey, being an Israelite, man, Jake is gonna basically apply the wisdom. You know, a lot of things we don't really have to learn the hard ways because you had a, a elder man or a brother, or you read it in the scriptures and you applied that wisdom. You know, but hey, the only people you're supposed to be helping out here is um, hey, is the hopeful elect and one third, man. Don't help these people. Con, I got a precept in uh, Sirach six and um, read a couple verses down. This is Rock 6 and 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to give credit him. And that's what we got to do. We got to, you know, uh, prove uh, these people first. You got to see whether they be, uh, you know, godly or ungodly, okay? Yeah. And how do you do that? You got to try them, uh, you know, by, you know, or, you know, try their spirits. And by doing that, you do what? Yeah, you uh, uh, bring out these scriptures, man. Yeah. 
Because they this these scriptures are gonna tell you, you know, their true intents. Alright? What they're really about. Okay? And it says, for some man is a friend for his own occasion. And that's these people, man. They, look, they'll be around when you you know give out some money. They'll be around, you know, when um you know uh when things are good, when you're in a, a prosperity, you know? Alright? And it says uh, for some men is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of trouble. And that's right. These people aren't going to stay or stick around when, you know, all hell is breaking loose, man. When you're in a lower state. Okay. And it says, and there is a friend who being uh, turned to enmity and strife will discover that reproach. It says, again, some, again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of affliction. And that's these people, man. See, hey, they're, they're, they're there when, you know, hey, you got that extra money. You know, you can buy the drinks. You're you, up. Everything yeah, is yep, good. Yeah, yep, you're up. You know, uh, you can uh, order that, you know, pay-per-view fight. You know what I mean? You can, uh, uh, you know, um, basically you have, a, you know, a barbecue at your house, you know. You're providing everything. Hey, they're there. Hey, but the second you're in adversity, second you need, you know, you know a few dollars, you know, to get by. Hey, these people are going to look at you crazy, man. And they're gonna. Hey, what's so messed up about Jake is, they're they're gonna uh, in your lowest state, you're already like down on the ground. They're gonna sit there and you know push you down more and throw your face in the mud some more. You know, There's some wicked people, man. And it says, but in thy prosperity he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee. You see, if you're brought down low, he's gonna be against you. Yep. He's gonna call you a bum, a low life, and a loser, you know, just because you're in a uh, messed up, you know, position now. Yep. But what you when you were on the top eight, you were the guy, you were the man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it says, um, and it says, uh, uh, he will be against thee and will hide himself from thy face. And it says here, separate thyself from thy enemies, and take heed of thy friends. So you're supposed to separate yourself from all these people, man. Because really, all these people are your enemies. Mm -hmm. If they're not um, with the Yahweh Baal Shem Shai, they're an antichrist, man. As the scriptures say. You know, these people are anti Yahweh Shai, anti Yahweh Baal Shem Shai, okay? They want the, uh, 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 the, you know, wickedness to prosper instead of righteousness. So that means that they're your enemies now. You know? You got to hate these people with the perfect hatred, man. As the scriptures talk about. You know? And uh, maybe you can get that one where it talks about uh, who your friends are. Uh, who's your mother, father. Oh, yeah. Probably just ended off with that unless you had something else. Because, hey, really, man, you're only supposed to be helping uh, hey, uh, those that are in this truth, man. Because that's really your true family. These people aren't your true family. You know, hey, you could have people who are... You know, related to you by blood, but they're really not your family once you get into this truth. Because you can't walk the same uh, path that they're walking in. Can two, was it, Amos 3 and 3? Can two walk together unless they be agreed? Uh, you know, you can't do that. You can't walk with somebody if they're in disagreement with you. You're talking about the kingdom of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. These people are talking about prospering in Babylon. How are you going to, like, get along with each other? You're talking about eating, you know, uh, you know, uh, healthy foods and having a healthy diet. They're talking about eating shrimp and, 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 and uh, uh, frog legs and stuff. You know what I mean? And pork. How are you going to get along with these people, man? You know? I think that's in the book of Matthew. Maybe it's like the 10th chapter. I think it's like 10 towards the end. Maybe like 34. Yeah, try 10 and 34. I think it's around there. Uh, Matthew uh, 10 and uh, 35. Okay, for, uh, it says, For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Say no, I mean, no, you know what? That's not. Let me see. Give me one sec. It's like I thought it was Matthew 10. Maybe I can find it. I know it's in the gospel. I know it's in Matthew for sure. I just can't remember exactly where. Um, shit. Let me see. Um, this is Matthew. Give us one moment.
It's a uh, 12. My bad. It's 12 and uh, uh, try like 12 and 47. 12 and yeah, try 12 and 40. Yeah, get rid of that. Maybe 40. Uh, you know, get to the point 48. No, it's a lock. You start at 47. All right, so Matthew 12 and 47 it says, Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without. Uh, desiring to speak with thee But he answered and said unto him That told him Who was my mother and who was my brethren And he stretched forth his hand Towards his disciples and said Behold my mother and my brethren For whosoever shall do the will Of my father which is in heaven The same is my brother and sister And mother Yep. So that's, that's you know straight to the point That's your true family right there They Those that are you know uh, Believers of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, those who are trying to be godly, you know. Mm. Hey, these people, you don't want to um, be entangled with them. I think there's a scripture, you know, in Sirach, man, where it talks about, you know, pretty much if you're, um, you know, if you're amongst these, you know, uh, you know, these sinners, you're going to get the same, like, you know, uh, you know, punishment. I know I'm butchering it, mm. but something under those lines, man. You know, it's like you're basically, you're guilty by association. Mm. You know, so, you know, it's best to avoid these people at all costs, man. Because hey, hey, that time of uh, That time of judgment is you know Around the corner the Lord's not playing anymore Alright yeah. So you got anything else or uh, No no that's it okay. Alright well uh, you know with that You know hopefully this was edifying And you know hey just you know stay focused Stay spiritual You know hey you know deal With these people you know uh, Only if you really have to and yeah, Jay, just be amongst the, you know, the brethren and, you know, the godly people. And, you know, that's that's about it. And with that, you know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the Apostle Nellis, a great millstone, and salutations to you, brothers out there. Shalom.